Today I'll be showing you how to paint the Warhammer Underworld Crimson Court. I sprayed three of them with lead belcher and then another one with white, but you'll see them later because I ran out of white spray, so I had to get more later. Anyways, with the three I have already, I shaded these two dudes' armor with dark tone by the army painter. But then with the girl, I wanted to try to see what Black Templar contrast paint over Lead Belcher looks like. It turned out really nice as a, like, black metal look, but I probably would have just stick with the silver of everyone else I'm going to do. Base coat some areas with Wraith Bone by Citadel. Paint up the other guy to the standard. And then I'm going to paint some of their skin with... Light Flesh by Vallejo. The guy with the wings, I'm going to paint most of his skin with the Power of Witch Flesh by Citadel. And then, like, his wings, like, the skin in between the wings with the Light Flesh. And just to make this other guy diverse, Burnt Umber by Vallejo. And then also later highlighted the guy with the sword with Power of Witch Flesh. Make this girl... Ginger with Tuscor Fur by Citadel. And then I shade all the skin except for the Burnt Umber with Strong Tone. Highlight some of the armor with Chainmail Silver by Vallejo, just as something different from always using Stormho Silver. Some Night Blue by Vallejo on some of the cloth to have dark Night Lord Blue. And I also shaded the burnt umber with purple tone, and then highlighted it back up. And then the other cloth I'm painting with Flesh Terror's Red Citadel Contrast. Dark Gray by Vallejo on the bases. Retributor Armor on the gold. Thondia Brown on brown areas, and Buff on, like, bone areas. Leather Brown on this guy's pouches. A mix of dark tone and strong tone on the base and on the pouches. Then paint some black areas with Vallejo black. Blay Angel's red on some light red areas. Seraphim sepia on like the little statue this guy's standing on. And I also rimmed the bases in black and wrote all their names. The Veil, Velas, Garaf, and Anais. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Probably not. And then despite these guys being vampires, I was pretty liberal of my use of... And then some extra strong tone here and there. And here they are! Here they are next to some other vampires I painted. What do you guys think? You like how they turned out? Do you hate them? Do you have your own way of painting these guys? Let me know in the comments below.